Just as individuals and small groups have more destructive capability than ever before, they also have more constructive capability. And nowhere is there greater constructive influence than in the field of education. It's been said that civilization is a race between education and catastrophe. In considering the current state of the world, it seems like catastrophe is winning. Worldwide displacement due to violence, armed conflict, and persecution is at the highest level ever recorded. According to the United Nations, nearly 60 million people have been forcibly uprooted. That's a 50% increase over the past decade. And last year, 2014, saw the largest increase ever in a single year. The main reason for the acceleration of refugees and displaced persons have been the wars in Syria and Iraq. My name is Greg Millsaps, and this past spring, I traveled to Iraq and Turkey with a photojournalist friend to investigate and document a small part of this massive humanitarian crisis. These are the images. We spent time in several refugee camps and visited displaced persons living in abandoned buildings. In weeks of talking and interviewing these victims of the Islamic State, as well as discussing the situation with aid workers and journalists, we discovered that one of the highest priorities is education. While in the camps, displaced youth lose formative years of schooling and become susceptible to child labor, early marriage, or extremism. Education, therefore, is the greatest hope to combat these horrible possibilities. It was in these conversations that the Viva Kurdistan project was born. Viva Kurdistan is an educationally oriented nonprofit organization that serves refugee populations and internally displaced persons in the Kurdistan regional government area of northern Iraq. Our efforts are focused on providing essential financial, logistical, and material support to schools serving these war victim children. We're excited to partner teachers and other professional volunteers with opportunities in the educational development of refugee and displaced children. These partnerships will be with existing schools in several camps, as well as starting more schools in areas where the need is greatest. We're hoping to send our first educational response team to Iraq early next year. We can't do this without your help. Don't let the catastrophe of the Islamic State continue to win the race. Together we can make education a priority and a reality for thousands of war victim children and young adults. They've lost their homes and so much more to the ISIS terror. Let's not let their minds be lost as well. Help us to make a difference. Help us deal a blow to ISIS by unlocking the transformational potential of these children. Thank you.